doing less but doing it better so you would achieve more don't burn out in the process and be happier in general right in this world please a fight for attention and attention is equivalent of your time you sometimes don't want to spend time on things that don't matter to you hi everyone Ruslan is here and uh, this morning I stumbled upon a term deep work and uh, tips and tricks on how to enter this state and um, I started remembering all of the tips and tricks and things I know already on how to enter that zone state of flow when you are so immersed in your work that you just completely ignore outside world you know, all the sounds when i'm personally in this state of deep work you know in this flow you can call me call my name ask me something and i would just ignore it i would completely ignore this because um, I'm so deeply involved in, in, in the work I'm doing right now so it, it will take me a while to come out of this and then sometimes even hard to re-enter this and it's um, kind of a pity if this happens you know if uh, you get some call or uh, an email that uh, notification that pops up and just interrupts it right and uh, now i would like to share with you some of the rules rules right i mean who creates the rules right just like tips and tricks on how to enter this deep work state and hopefully you will find it useful especially if you are an you know, online creator as so myself so let's get started nice coffee so um, the first rule let's call it D, &D. And, and it's not the one referring to Dungeons and Dragons which I think will be fun to do in your free time with friends because role-playing games are fun but here I mean by D, &D do not disturb mode and it's really important if you want to be in this uh, state of flow in this state of deep work to uh, prevent or reduce the number of interrupters that can disturb the state and you can uh, achieve it in several ways well first of all your phone right you just can put it on uh, do not on disturb mode and unless you are creating online and content using your phone like me right now you can simply place it in a different room as well because not only all this popping up notifications emails messages can interrupt your work but also the temptation to go into social media scroll through you know the reels and things uh, even myself, I, I would find sometimes myself in this loop and then it's um, kind of hard to catch you when you're in this um, state because I'm consuming a, a, a lot of uh, changing you know, images and popping up like songs and things it's much easier than to actually do the work unless you are in this state of deep work where it is actually very easy to keep working on and on and uh, you know it's uh, in this world is a fight for attention and attention uh, is equivalent of your time you sometimes don't want to spend time on things that don't matter to you and the um, one way is to re remove this temptation completely from your workspace and just do time blocks for example if it is um, say um, in 11 a.m just tell 
yourself with okay from 11 until 12 and 30 for the next 90 minutes i will work without any disturbance and then i can break my phone i can relax a bit take a break and do the other things but for this work i time block i enter this dng state and just keep on working all right uh, next rule will be about your ears. I think you should also think about not only your visual disturbances like social media, all the pop-ups, even though it, it comes down to sound as well, but something uh, in addition to this could be you know, P, Y, E, Pi, let's say. Protect your ears. Let's just come up with uh, all sorts of abbreviations for fun. And you can protect your ears in several different ways as well. Uh, for example, you can purchase noise and cancelling headphones. I, I don't mean those bulky uh, worker headphones, but well, AirPods comes to mind, but then they are expensive. I, I don't have AirPods, for example, because I think they are overpriced and overhyped. But uh, I have heard that they protect you from sound pretty well. There are many other options. I can use the ones Bluetooth and headphones for sports, and it works just fine and well. I like it. But the point is, whatever you use, you can just purchase something for not that uh, expensive price and uh, keep your ears protected as well and be, you know, be within yourself to help uh, and, and avoid disturbances as well. <clears throat> uh, at the same time, if you use in headphones, you can listen to some soundtrack for example uh, al alpha waves right you, you, you know this uh, beta wave alpha theta gamma waves so be, listen to the alpha waves of being in this or beta waves i mean it really depends on what you want to achieve i, I can talk about this if you want another video what uh, kind of binaural beats are used for what kind of state and work but uh, here i mean just finding some kind of soundtrack some sound soundtrack from the movie white noise that will help to be in the state and help to stabilize your mind because at some point it will start synchronizing with these frequencies and it might be easier to enter that flow state. Another uh, rule I would say to take breaks, to take breaks, take intentional breaks and in especially uh, time from screen. What let's go T time from TFS TFS time from screen. <laughs> Um, and just read a book, uh, walk outside, breathe fresh air, uh, listen to audiobook. Uh, if you are doing content and creation, it's really important to refill your creative reservoir because you know, like this creative energy that you use up, use up to uh, put out the content to create something, write a blog post, make a video, uh, do something. Even if you go to data science, data analysis, marketing, you use up energy and then you need to refill it because it is all, in my opinion, it's all about the balance. You know? There is, for example, this whole hustle culture of just doing more and more and more, working 70 hours 
or anything. It's not a joke even. But how are you supposed to keep up with doing this in, in the long term? I understand that uh, and I see the point in this, but there are also other ways of doing this. Doing less, but doing it better. So you would achieve more, don't burn out in the process, and be happier in general, right? All right, uh, probably the final rule of the deep work is to not wait for this um, state of forever before starting a work, right? Let's call this uh, what JDI, if I go with abbreviations here, which uh, I would refer to to uh, phrase Just do it! Just do it! Yesterday you said tomorrow. Just do, like all, all this. I think that uh, ultimately, so do you do work for the sake of doing the work or do you do the work uh, to get things done, right? So I think uh, we do the work for different reasons, but uh, more often uh, I think that people do work to get things done. And you know, the way of JDI, just do it, is actually the way to start working. And, uh, for example, uh, if I would wait for perfect motivation to do anything, I might just wait forever and never be motivated enough or energetic enough or whatever enough to start the work. But I actually can get things done even if I'm not feeling like this. Even if I'm not feeling like uh, it is deep work. I can force on myself. It is harder, much harder. So that's why I wanted to share all of the tips, rules, abbreviations. Uh, but we don't have to be in the state of deep work to get things done. Probably the final thing is to iterate, repeat, and experiment. And see what works for you and what doesn't work good for you. I'm just sharing my opinions, experience, and uh, just ideas I, I read on the web, for example. And uh, you should uh, ultimately understand what uh, you want to do and what uh, kind of things might help you. But it's, uh, I think it's always great to be aware of things and uh, tips like that to be prepared and then help yourself to enter that state of deep work because I believe that this state of work really uh, is important not only for online content creators but for everyone and, and, and everyone can benefit from it or mostly everyone for example if you are uh, driver then it's better to be really present uh, here and now and, uh, completely which uh, i can also call a deep work well i, I don't know what i'm going uh, here to but uh, I, I hope you see the point and if you like this kind of format i can um, keep creating um, the videos like that where I do these kind of impromptu improvisations on different topics and try to explain them and let me know uh, if you like it and what are your thoughts and uh, most importantly what are your tips if uh, you think I missed something I will be really happy to learn and get even feedback uh, please leave a comment below like the video and, and subscribe to the channel to to what to stay up to date with my content of course <laughs> see you next time